Aries, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or if you have a lot of Aries in your chart, or if you're just having an Aries kind of day. Uh, Aries, this is for you in person, whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, marriage, or bumble date. Um, Aries, let's take a look at you and your person, but please bear in mind that this is your uh, general reading, so um, <clears throat> some things will resonate, maybe, some not. Check out your other placements if they don't. Um, if you vibe with my videos, please subscribe to my channel, comment below, uh, like the video. It really helps me out. I'm new on YouTube, uh, and as a new channel, it really, really makes a big difference to me. Yeah, Aries, let's see what's going on with you. You and your person. Please, angels, tell me what's happening with Aries and their person. What happened in the recent past to make the situation so? Okay. Ooh, okay. There was a big ending. Yeah, it's like something ended. Um, and you, I feel like you ended it. Two of Cups. It felt like true love, but it had to end. Um, I feel like either you ended this situation, uh, be it established marriage, you know, whatever, 10-year-old partnership, or a new connection. You ended it here with the death. You were the death. Um, Aries. Yeah, you were the death. Or if you didn't explicitly end it... <laughs> You knew it was coming. You were prepared for it. You were like, you know what I mean? Like you, you were ready to end it. Maybe this person kind of was in it. I feel like this person was in and out. Nine, uh, Knight of Wands. This person was in and out. Player energy. You knew it had to end. So you either ended it or this person just was in and out one too many times. Ghosted you maybe. Even if you're like, you know, even if you're like on a third date kind of situation, this person just seemed like gave you bad vibes. Player vibes. You're like, oh yeah, this will end. And it did. And it did. Uh, currently, you're in separation. You're not speaking. There's a moratorium on this connection. Someone could have ghosted. Um, someone could have ghosted. It, I feel like, you know, you got player... You uh, For some of you, if it's a new thing, like a bumble date, whatever, uh, you got player vibes from this person. Maybe they didn't message you back or like they had like weird texting patterns and you just ghosted them. Or be, you know, it's like because they ghosted you, you ghosted them more and you're not speaking now. Uh, but for more established things or, you know, um, long-term relationship, it was an end. You guys broke up. I feel like it was, for most of a, for most of you, it was you. It was you, Aries. But it could have been the other way around because the energies do switch a little bit. And with these things, you know, it's like one person does the breaking up, but, you know, it was kind of going to happen anyway. But you're coming up as death. You put an end to this stupidity. You could be dating another Aries. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this person still has a lot to say to you. They have a lot to say to you. They want to get back together, Nine of Cups. They want to make you their wish fulfillment again. They don't want to lose you. But they want to have a serious conversation with you about what happened. They want to take charge of what happened. Three of Wands. Yeah, they feel like you dominated the situation. They feel like you dominated them. They feel like, you know, you put your, uh, your uh, intention firmly in the ground. Page of Wands, yeah. You were keeping up with this person. Whoever this person was, they thought that they were like, you know, the player. They wanted to play games with you. But you, like, you cut that short straight away, Aries. Because you know those games. You're not going to be played. You're the player, if anything, you know. So not you. Uh, but that's good, though. Aries always have options. Yeah, you're done with this BS. Yeah, Six of Wands. Yeah, this person really felt like you... This is so good. They feel like you dominated them. And underneath is how you feel. Six of Wands. Yeah, you feel like you dominated them. <laughs> you want this. It was like, for some of you, this person was trying to do something underhanded. Or maybe if it's an established relationship. Unfortunately, I do see that here. This is not going to apply to everyone, especially if it's new. But it's like... Um, in an established relationship, you may have caught this person like texting someone else or cheating or attempting to cheat. And you're like, I'm done. Get out. Get out. And they had to get out very fast. 
the high priestess you're going within it's like you would save you want to save this relationship still a part of you wants to save it remembers what it used to be like but you're wondering if maybe this uh, this is uh, kryptonite to you. You're wondering wh whether this is uh, good for you. Should you be going, you know, into these depths um, of the underworld to experience love? It's like there's a darkness in this love that you, you're feeling, and you're not sure if it's good for you. There, uh, it's like it has a menacing t uh, flavor to it. It could be triggering you. It could be triggering your traumas. It could be triggering a lot of toxic things in you. Yeah, this person wanted to be a player, and they got played by a player, basically. You should not try and play with Aries. <laughs> oh, silly. Yeah, and you got the chariot, you know? You want to in or out, you know? You want to make that decision. And you're like, clearly your intentions right now are to move forward. You're, you're not, like, wanting to look back. You're not wanting to cry or anything like that. Yeah, Nine of Swords and the Emperor. You want to take ownership of the pain. And Ace of Swords, you want to have a new beginning, but this is with or uh, with or without them. You don't like what the, you don't like the way that this, this person was behaving towards you. Yeah, player energy. Yeah, if it's like a bumble day, they were like talking to a bunch of different people, maybe forgot to tell you kind of thing, or just hmm. Okay, let's see what this person's next actions are going to be towards you. <laughs> yeah but they're gonna want to work on it because they cannot let it go yeah they're coming in it might be a bit of a surprise maybe a bit of a surprise there was a departure here there was a departure but they're coming right back in but be careful because this person really has this kind of knight of wands player energy here where it's like make sure when they come back in that they're not out again as fast as they came in four of pentacles they can't let it go they really want to communicate they want to come in and communicate the uh two of swords uh the uh, knight of swords and the queen of wands here uh again disregard genders and these cards arbitrary uh this is just energy they're hoping they're hoping they're hoping that you will accept the fact that they're still holding the torch for you there's you know you don't have any of these torches here but they do. They have lit torches in every one of these uh, uh, cards, card spreads. Torches, torches, torches. It's all lit on fire. That they, They're going to come in and they're going to just like offer you their love and their passion and be like, please take me back in. Please, let's make it work. Please, you know, if it's a new dating situation, please, you know, let's like, let's just go out and let's just make it work. Let's make it happen. They feel like you could... They feel like uh, they're having a dark night of the soul. And they feel like you can shine a light on their heart. But they, they're also going to come in and not, like, hold back. They might say a few, um, yeah, they might say a few rude things to you. Or just be, like, resentful that you cut them out. Yeah, Two of Cups clarifies the Knight of Wands here. Um, yeah, for some of you, I will say that this person, be careful, this person is a player. At least in the past. You know, whatever you caught, you caught them out, you caught them. You caught them. If it's an established relationship, you may have caught them for some of you. Again, for others, it's just like they have hectic energy. They're just not, you know, commitment issues, whatever. It's just not very reliable. But I feel this very deeply here. This is someone who is a player. And if it's, if it's a new person and you just saw that they were a player, you don't want to be a part of that, you know? You don't want to be played. The Hierophant, though, you know, this person is very serious about you. And if it if you guys were married or, like, together for a long time, they're going to want to save the marriage. They might uh, propose counseling or something like that. And if it's a new relationship, this person feels, if it's new, they just met you, or it's recent, you know? Um, they feel like you make them feel like they want to change. They want to settle down with you. You're not like the others. They want, they want to marry you. But to them, you know, thinking of commitment is burdensome. It's all hard. It's all very hard for them to change, you know? Okay, let's see what the advice is here. Aries. 
Vice for Aries, please. Yeah, you need to assess the situation. Walking away again at the bottom of the deck. Okay. I feel like that, was that at the bottom of this deck before? I know it's a different card, but I feel like it was before. Um, okay, Queen of Swords and the Magician. It's like you are going to, it is upon you now to use your intellect as well as your, like, you know, rule with your heart and with your head. But, you know, just don't let your heart dictate to you too much because you're already in a good position, you know. You're not having a lot of passion here. You're not having a lot of, like, you know, wistfulness towards this person. You're very in your power like this. Um, yeah, Aries, be a warrior. Be like this warrior queen. Think with, the, think with your head, basically. Uh, it's like you're going to summon them, you know, to your office or like, you know, to wh wherever you guys are going to meet. And you're going to be literally like, come forward and tell me, you know, what is your story? You know, what are the conclusions here? They're going to like confess to you, you know, whatever they haven't confessed yet. Or they're going to just like talk to you like they're your subordinate. And you're going to judge them. But they're going to try really, really hard. This person is like going to try so hard desperately hard to try and manifest this relationship back into being and if you hear what you find is satisfactory then you can allow this new beginning to happen if you want it uh, i would personally be cautious for those of you if you find this person was actually cheating you know uh be cautious if it's some other situation, you know, it's like new or like they were a bit of a player, but it wasn't clear and they want to settle down with you. Sure. You know, give them a chance. But if it was someone with a history or a long history of cheating, just, you know, be cautious about that. Let's see. Yeah. And hit of wands again. You can't make it up. Player energy. Can this person change? We got the page of cups again, you know. Um, interestingly enough, and this, you know, these are my readings. I read the cards and I am biased. And strength, uh, angel of courage. You can have courage to allow this person to show you that they've changed. I, I see a big transformation here in this person, if that's what you want. I wouldn't personally take someone back who cheated. But that is just my very strong opinion on it. And I feel compelled to say it because I am the reader here and it's, you know, this is strongly my energy and I'm finding that the cards are saying something very, very different to what I would have said. And I think it's okay. I think they don't mind. I think the tarot doesn't mind. But the Knight of Wands here, you know, again, uh, same energy. This is your person. And a uh, Page of Cups, they've changed. They have really, they want to change. They've changed. You've got the Page of Cups here as your advice in the first, in the first place. This is something you can give it a chance. But the minute you see, and you know, you need to be the queen of swords here. And she cuts people off and she walks away, right? So you just need to be like, I'm watching you like a hawk. Any wrong move and I'm out. Don't get yourself like, you know, too deeply emotionally uh, involved and available straight away. Give it some time. But this person is desperate to manifest this back. And they're going to want, they really want to change. They want to change. And I feel like the tarot here really is saying give them a chance, even if, even if they cheated, even if they cheated, hear them out, hear them out. Hmm. Got the devil here behind the strength card. Yeah, because they can't walk away. But you, yeah, don't be bound to them. Un, you need to unbind yourself emotionally from this. Uh, but at the same time, hear them out if you want to. Um, basically, the cards are saying that if you want to, you can. And it's not going to be like a horribly bad outcome. But yeah, I feel compelled to say that um, I, I just don't think that's always a good idea because I feel, uh, you know, when things like this happen, it means that there's someone out there who deserves you more. You know, there's someone out there who is maybe alone, doesn't have someone and, you know, they could be more deserving. But you never know with people's histories, with people's lives. So um, this is what's kind of coming through. Uh, for you. But remember, you are uh, the, the Queen of Swords. Uh, she cuts people off. She cuts things off. She moves on. She's a widow. She's a divorcee. Just saying, regardless of gender. Uh, but it's the Queen of Swords energy. So whatever that means to you. Um, but also a little, little new beginning. There's like a tiny little new hope, you know. Take it slow. Little steps. Little steps. Hold on to yourself. 
Okay, Aries. Well, I hope that helped. Um, I'm sorry someone tried to uh, play an Aries. What a big mistake, Aries. Um, let me know in the comments below if this resonated at all. Um, if you feel connected to this reading, who this person is, what they were trying to do. Uh, I really appreciate you being with me today, tonight, wherever you are, Aries. And yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. And may the angels protect you.